What is going on guys? Back out here at Glasgow, meeting up with an old friend, someone you guys have never seen on this channel, someone I really wanted to showcase on this channel. He's a good friend of mine. He's been helping me out a lot with my clothing brand. But before we get to that, I wanna talk about the bike giveaway I'm doing on my channel, 20,000 subscribers. And for every 1,000 subscribers I hit on my channel, I'm giving away another gift. First one being a Rilo 360 camera. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, do so right now. Hit those post notifications. You do not wanna miss any updates for that bike giveaway or any other giveaways coming. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Ryan Upchurch, as his jersey says right there. How What's you up, doing? Dude? How you been? Good, it's man. Been a long time. That is facts. How what many brings years? you back in town? Uh, today I'm busy. That was my... funny. Cool. Wow, oh, I'm falling today. But yeah, I'm back in town to visit my parents today and uh, hit up Mike Feedy, see what he's up to, and uh, seems like he uh, wanted to come out to Glasgow, see what's up. So Ryan Upchurch is one of the first scooter riders to ever go pro in this area. So when he was a lot younger, I ended up taking him to Travis Pastrana's house. And when I took him there, he was like, I really want to jump his mega ramp. I'm going to have him tell you the story behind it and why he didn't just jump it straight. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Go ahead. Dude, that, oh, you good? That kid is a boss. That kid is a boss. That was pure trooper status right there. Heck yeah. So I took you to Travis's house. You said you wanted to jump his ramp, but then you tried to jump it straight, and what happened? Well, the first day we showed up, you know, Travis was there. We were just having a normal session, you know, feeling out the, the whole Pastrana compound. And I don't know, he said that ESPN was going to be there the next day. He's like, you got anything uh, special? You know, maybe hit this mega ramp. No one's ever done it before. And of course, you know, what do you do when Travis asks you to do anything? It's like... Uh, there's not an answer but yes so I gotta cut and interject right now because one thing he's forgetting to mention is the fact that Travis is like well you could either be the first one ever cleared or the first one not to clear it either way we'll put a chalk outline on the back on the back of that ramp for you <laughs> yeah cuz let's remind everyone how the setup goes you have your normal mega ramp kicker the run-up is not a normal run-up it's Travis's front porch so I was running across some cobblestone and I'm pretty sure he had a gravel driveway at the time. Not sure if that's still the case, but some gravel, some cobblestone, hop this roller on the way down. And after you make it, if you make it, I got wobbles, speed wobbles the first yeah, time. Yeah, you got wobbles going to the phone pit. because I, like, I had like 16 wide bars when <laughs> all this stuff was first going down. A little bit wider now, they're 24-ish, but uh, yeah, back then they were like 16, so I got major speed wobbles going on down and uh, the first time when I did the front flip I, I didn't really know I was front flipping at first I just realized I didn't have enough speed so I decided to just you know tuck out a little bit because my front flip seemed to just go a little bit further and on that first one I like I wasn't even halfway through the air upside down I was already like penciled out like this <laughs> like dead sailor my scooter's like 10 feet to the right of me and I don't know where I'm going so halfway through the flip I'm blind and then I start flipping and then I start spinning around, so I end up going into the landing, which is a, a resi landing, like fakie, like penguin slide on oh. my stomach. And then I put a little bit of rub burn, but by the time I realized that I had made it, I was just so happy that I was alive, I just got right back up and started running to the top again. And One more interjection. He had all this footage, and then the scooter brand he was riding for at the time, all of it got lost because the YouTube channel ended up getting hacked. But we do have a clip of him jumping it right now. I'm going to put it up on the screen of him doing a front flip. No, no. no. This is not good. Uh, yep. Oh! And you could hear Travis's reaction as he had the speed. He was like, nope, nope, nope he doesn't nope. have the speed. And uh, yeah, Upchurch penciled his way across that ramp. What was going through your brain when you were coming towards that lip? Uh, whether I die or whether I don't die, it's going to be sick. So whatever <laughs> happens, happens, you know. At least Travis is there to watch it. I grew up, you know, he was one of my biggest inspirations. Whether it's, you know, FMX or him just getting wild. You know, doing anything that's adrenaline junkie fueled, you know, they're always out there doing something. So to be able to do, you know, something that Travis was impressed with was, 
it was worth it whatever way it came out so. well another thing i also remember is you signed a waiver when we got there but then he made sure yeah, he, he signed a waiver on camera <laughs> He legally made sure that if I was dying, that I had signed off on that stuff. And it said, like in fine print, you know, if you injury, death, the whole nine. So it was totally a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> and after you take off the the takeoff there, the launch ramp, you have about, I would say like, what do you say, like 40 foot, maybe? That, that's about right, 40 foot. That looks 40, about 40 foot. Yeah, 40 foot, you know, <laughs> give or take a, a little bit there. But uh, yeah, with the 40 foot, it was just a, about a 20 foot drop from you know where you're actually level with the takeoff and the landing. You have a good vert wall on this side. It's about 18 or 20 feet tall. So if you come up short, you're going directly into a vert wall with yeah. some coping. And on the second one, I maybe cleared it by about six inches. I like come right over the top of the lip. And by the time I realized that I'm like going down the ramp, like I was, uh, it was surreal, man. When did it's, it hit you that you're actually landing and riding away when you're going up the quarter pipe? When I was coming back. Oh, when you're, when you're coming back to <laughs> the like, cameraman? Well, had, because, dude, like, as soon as I landed it, it was just like, I don't even know how to describe those moments. There's probably only been a handful of those in my life where, you know, like things just sort of stop for a second and you realize that you're actually there. You're actually doing that thing. Yeah. Because like there was a whole, I was maybe 17, 16, 17-ish at that time. So like, the whole 16 or 17 years of me watching Jackass and, you know, Travis on X Games, the whole nine yards, it all led up to that moment. So it, it was it was surreal, man, to say the least. That's awesome. We need to get you back there. Speaking of Travis's, if you guys follow Travis or Nitro Circuits and you know who Brandon Schmidt is, he's actually working with Brandon Schmidt on Brandon's brand. And maybe we yeah. can all three get to... Uh, Travis is here pretty soon. Maybe when Brandon's feeling a little bit better. Yeah, dude, absolutely. We've been working on the, the healthy life together, you know. Get out there, bang your L's, you know what it's about. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's been a lot of fun. Brandon's got some dope ideas with that. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to be working with him and bringing the community together in, you know, some different ways. Heck yeah. And, you know, bringing a lot of the different sports together too, because, you know, he rides BMX, he does snowboards. Like so many of us now are all riding you know, different sports and, you know, just sending it to the next level on whatever's under our feet. So I think it's, uh, you know, it's the foundation for some of that stuff. I'm stoked. Hell yeah. Well, let's get out there and get some clips, get warmed up and see how much riding has changed for you since the big old mega ramp days. Might be a little rusty, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> From Mega to Street God. Oh my God. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, heck yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you catch a short clip. Yeah, intermission yeah. clip, bro. Giving you time to breathe. Oh, a little, little word of advice, guys. If you uh, stay awake overnight and pull a all nighter, you probably don't want to ride the next morning. Just saying. <laughs> yes. Funny story about a 720 right there. I remember the first time he did a 720, and it was out of our mini ramp at our local skate park, Newport. And uh, he had such a hard time doing it. Now he's doing it off a ledge that's no more than three foot high out of a feeble ground. Insane. And I haven't rode in nearly a month. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> dude, you ready to play some soccer in that jersey or what? Oh, dude, all the soccer. It's hot, so you know, the skin just likes to slide right off, man. It's, it's <laughs> lubricant. I got you on the two flash. Two flash? Yeah. All right. Insane! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> Yo, it is, I don't know what is happening in this Yo, thing, man. Ken Block, eat your heart out with that grip. 95 degrees, everything's fine. <laughs> tires are not cold today. Tires? The wheels, yeah, bro. Yeah, tires. This is Ken Block's whip. <laughs> All right, guys, I got the 360 camera on Upchurch. This is one of the ones I'm giving away. Here's what it would look like if you do a flare. Awesome. Sick down with. Ooh. 
Wow. That was a downside toothpick grind. That rail's a little sticky. Decade! I'm gonna do like a nice five or something. I feel like that looks pretty cool on this. On a quarter? Yeah. That'd be pretty tight. There it is. Whoa, Ken Block is still here. Oh. <laughs> Not here all day, baby. We're burning rubber. Yo. Yes. Damn. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Dude, Ken Block Pro. Insane, dude. Insane. Yeah, it's been a month and this guy's been hibernating in the middle of summer. He's not, he doesn't have any muscle gains though. He's just been sitting around doing nothing. All right guys, gonna do it for today's video. Ryan Upchurch, absolute shredder. I'm so happy to have him back around. He's the one that's been doing a lot of designs for my clothes. So if you guys want me to design new clothing, which I already planned on doing, and if you already have designs you want me to do, drop them in the comments below. I want to let him do the outro, but before we do that, I want to remind you guys about the bike giveaway I'm doing at 20,000 subscribers, and for every 1,000 subscribers leading up to it, I'm doing a giveaway. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, like I said, do so. Put those post notifications on. We'll let Ryan close it out. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in, checking out me and Mike's session today. We've been riding together for years, and I appreciate you coming to check out Glasgow Skate Park with us. If you're going to keep up on uh, what I'm up to these days, you can check me out on Instagram, at Mr. Ryan Upchurch, and my design page, at Ed Brand Agency. Thanks, yo. See y'all later. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.